air pollution is a leading cause of premature death and disease worldwide. Around 7 million people die each year due to exposure to polluted air, making it the seventh leading risk factor for death globally. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that the cost of premature deaths and illnesses due to air pollution is in the trillions of dollars each year. Air pollution is a significant issue in the Philippines, particularly in urban areas. According to the World Health Organization, the country has some of the highest levels of air pollution in Southeast Asia, with high levels of particulate matter and ozone in the air. Air pollution is a significant issue in both urban and rural areas of the Philippines. However, the quality of air in urban areas tends to be worse than in rural areas due to the higher concentration of sources of air pollution in cities. In this video, we're going to focus more on urban air pollution. So, what exactly is urban air pollution? Urban air pollution refers to the contamination of the air in urban or highly populated areas. It is often caused by the emission of harmful substances such as carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter from human activities such as transportation, industrial processes, and the burning of fossil fuels. There are several causes of urban air pollution in the Philippines. First, the high reliance on private vehicles and the use of older, less efficient vehicles contribute to air pollution in the country. Also, a significant portion of the country's electricity is generated from coal-fired power plants which emit harmful pollutants into the air. Additionally, the burning of fossil fuels such as coal and diesel is a major source of air pollution in the country. Manufacturing, construction, and other industrial activities also contribute to air pollution in the Philippines. The use of pesticides and fertilizers in agriculture can also contribute to air pollution as these chemicals can be released into the air when they are applied to crops. Lastly, poorly managed waste is also a factor to air pollution as the decomposition of organic waste releases methane and other harmful gases into the air. Urban air pollution have negative impacts on the hydrosphere, lithosphere, biosphere, and atmosphere. When certain pollutants such as sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxide are released into the air, they can combine with water vapor to form acid rain. Acid rain can harm aquatic ecosystems by making the water more acidic and reducing the pH of the water. This can kill fish and other aquatic organisms as well as damage plant life. It also affects the lithosphere by damaging crops and forests. Certain pollutants, such as ozone, can damage plant leaves, reducing their ability to photosynthesize and grow. This can lead to reduced crop yields and damage forests. As an agriculture country, this would greatly affect our economy. Urban air pollution can also have negative impact on the biosphere. First, harming human health damaging ecosystems, and lastly, reducing biodiversity. Urban air pollution can have a number of impacts on the makeup of the atmosphere. The increasing amount of concentration of gases such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxide can contribute to the climate change and harm human health. In turn, the pollution can decrease the concentration of gases such as ozone in the atmosphere. Ozone is a natural gas that protects the earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. When the concentration of ozone is reduced, the earth is more vulnerable to harmful effects of UV radiation. Certain air pollutants such as chlorofluorocarbons can deplete the ozone layer. Urban air pollution can also change the chemical composition of the atmosphere by releasing pollutants that can react with other substances in the air. This can lead to the formation of new compounds which can have negative impacts on human health and the environment. It can also contribute to climate change by increasing greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Last year's Eve, 
air pollution levels in Manila and Marikina rose due to firecrackers. According to DNREMB, air pollution levels went beyond the standard of 150 micrograms per normal cubic meter of particulate matter in these two cities. With an average concentration of 271 micrograms per normal cubic meter in Marikina and 116 micrograms per normal cubic meter in Manila, both recorded from 12 midnight to 2 a.m. These negatively affects our environment as these firecrackers causes water and air pollution. Particulate matter, when inhaled, can cause different respiratory and or pulmonary health problems or worsen the medical conditions of those with asthma or heart diseases. Overall, air pollution can have a range of negative impacts on the atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere, as well as the biosphere. It is important to take steps to reduce air pollution in order to protect the systems and preserve the quality of the environment. There are several ways in which the government of the Philippines is addressing urban air pollution. First, implementing stricter emission standards. The government has implemented stricter emission standards for vehicles and power plants to reduce the levels of harmful pollutants released into the air. Second, promoting cleaner forms of energy. The government is promoting the use of cleaner forms of energy, such as solar and wind power, to reduce reliance on fossil fuels, which are a major source of air pollution. Third, developing public transportation. The government is working to improve and expand public transportation options in an effort to reduce the number of private vehicles on the road and decrease air pollution from transportation. Fourth, implementing regulations on industrial activities. The government has implemented regulations on industrial activities such as manufacturing and construction to reduce air pollution from these sources. Next, encouraging sustainable agricultural practices. The government is promoting sustainable agricultural practices such as the use of organic fertilizers and pesticides to reduce air pollution from agricultural activities. Another one is improving waste management practices. The government is working to improve waste management practices to reduce air pollution from waste. Lastly, prohibiting open burning. The government has prohibited the open burning of waste and other materials to reduce air pollution. There are several things that individuals can do to help minimize urban air pollution. First, reduce car use. Second, use a fuel-efficient vehicle. Third, support clean energy. Next, conserve energy. One can also practice proper disposal of waste. Another example is to support sustainable agriculture. By taking these steps, individuals can help in reducing the levels of air pollution in urban areas and protect public health. In conclusion, it is crucial that we take steps to reduce air pollution in order to protect the atmosphere and the earth itself. This can be achieved through implementing stricter emission standards, promoting clean energy sources, and promoting sustainable transportation options. By working together, we can create a cleaner and healthier environment for all.